hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's valerie again with another exciting video um as we had all talked about you're all aware of this video i was about to shoot since i had um, informed you guys on instagram i did an interactive poll on dyes and i have realized most of us just go ahead and dye our hair for the sake of the beauty but we don't actually um go into deep research to get to understand how dyes can affect our african crowns but don't worry that's why I'm here to change that because I've done extensive research on dyes. For those who have already dyed their hair, I have a lot of information for you on how you can maintain your dyed hair without uh, damaging your strands and uh, reducing the breakage. And for those who are planning to dye, buckle up because I'm going to give you a whole lot of information that will assist you uh, before you make your decision to dye your hair. So yeah, stay tuned guys. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. And if you are not following me on Instagram, my handle is just here check it and kindly go follow me on instagram to get more amazing content on here yeah so let's get started <laughs> I all know we love the dyes, we love the the beauty it adds to our faces. Because if I was to dye my hair like blonde or something, it would kind of brighten up my face and I look all beautiful and pretty. But one thing we don't like hearing is the effect that dyes have on our hair. Once you dye your hair, especially if you're doing permanent coloring of your dye, of your hair with dyes, you know permanent coloring use, usually uses a lot of chemicals. We're going to talk about it just uh, after this. And those chemicals usually damage our strands and and um, the moisture in our strands is lost drastically. So you find out once you color your hair, once you touch your hair like this, you feel like it's kind of rough and it falls a lot. Especially if you have dyed your hair and you don't know how to take care of dyed hair. But don't worry guys, I'm here to change that. So we're going to discuss um, the different type of dyes, the effect of dyes on our hair. And um, we're also going to talk about on how to take care of dyed hair. Yeah, so stay tuned. So let's get started with the type of dyes. We have, I think, three to four types of dyes. The first one, which we all normally use, is the permanent dyes or the permanent coloring. The permanent dyes co compose of hydrogen peroxide. I remember there was a time I used to dye my hair, the black dye. Um, they're just the black dye to ensure that the color in my hair is kind of match because my hair is not usually number number one, the black black. It's kind of like brownish. So I never used to feel good about it, so I used to dye. But you used to take the color and mix it with hydrogen peroxide, then you apply it on your hair. The purpose of hydrogen peroxide in permanent coloring dyes is that hydrogen peroxide is used to open your cuticles. Your cuticles will take in that color. And then that's how your hair appears to be red or blonde or green or purple, all those colors that you want due to the hydrogen peroxide. But you remember hydrogen peroxide is a very, very strong chemical and our hair is very delicate. So once you use hydrogen peroxide, it will automatically strip some of the protein in your hair and this will lead to a lot of weakening. So those are permanent uh, dyes. The other type of dyes we have are the semi-permanent. They're just like permanent, but they don't last as long as permanent. You know, permanent, you can't wash them out. But the semi-permanent, you can after some time. Then we have the ones that I would recommend someone who wants to dye their hair. You use the ones that are called wash, uh, rinse out dyes. They usually last longer, but they're not permanent. You can have them on your hair, but once you wash your hair, it will last for, I think, 15 to 20 washes. In that period, 15 to 20 washes. After that, you'll start seeing the fade out. The beauty of this is that they just stick on the surface of your cuticle, of your strand. They don't open the cuticle because the molecules are too big to enter your cuticle. And hence, they just stick on the surface of your strand. So the color is just on top, but it does not, it does not damage your structure. It does not interfere with your protein balance. And those are the ones I would recommend. Those who are thinking of dyeing, you can look for them. I will give you suggestions on the ones you can find on the stores. Yeah. Then we have henas. We all know hina. The one we apply on the face is also used as a dye on our hair. Back in the days, our ancestors, our, um, our grandparents or great-grandparents, they used to use hina. And hina was very, very good because one, it's plant-based and it's, it's natural. It has no additives like these other colorings. But the problem problem with hina is that it is very time consuming. You will have to mix it up and ensure you have the right consistency. Then it's a lot of mess. You have to apply it and leave it for like uh, 30 or just two hours to ensure it sits in. And even after all that time, it might not um, your hair might not pick that color really well. So that's it. If you're planning to use a dye, I would really really recommend 
uh, that you use the the rings out dyes, which are just as uh, as good as permanent because I know most of us when we dye our hair, we don't plan on washing our hair all the time. So it will kind of last and it will help you on maintaining your protein structure and your moisture balance. Yeah, so this, that's it guys. The next topic will be on um, how to manage dyed hair. Yeah. So, what is a hair regimen? I had done a previous video on a hair regimen for just normal, natural type 4 hair. But now we're talking about a special type of hair, which is dyed hair. Dyed hair, remember, is hair that has been added chemicals and hence needs to be treated with more care and with more precision compared to just natural hair. So our hair regimen on dyes, you have to follow your basics. Once you have dyed your hair, you have to remember that your hair is no longer normal, but your hair has now been added some chemicals and, and hence you have to be very careful. You need to follow the basic. The basics is shampooing, deep conditioning, and then you look for a daily moisturizing conditioner and maybe some oil. So for people with dyed hair, you have to avoid the sulfate-based shampoo. I have done another video. You can check it out. Um, the link is just here in the description box on shampoos and uh, conditioners. That's product selection so that you can understand when I say the sulfate and the non-sulfate. For dyed hair, you should use the non-sulfate um, conditioners. That is, they don't contain sulfate and hence they are more acidic compared to the ones that have sulfate and hence they will enable you to close off your cuticles. Remember I said when you use permanent dyes, it usually opens up your cuticles so much and you lose moisture and protein. So using sulfate based uh, sulfate free conditioners which are more acidic will enable you to close your cuticles and hence save your moisture another thing you need to constantly deep uh, condition your hair with protein and moisture you can interchange like the first week you can use the moisture the next week you can do the protein also check on that video kindly go watch that video if you really need to understand the product selection so you need to be using conditioners and moisturizers every week to ensure that your hair can get back to its normal uh, balance because you had interrupted the balance with the color. Another thing is that you need to avoid uh, manipulation of your hair. Remember your hair when dyed is quite weak. Avoid constantly manipulating it. You're styling it, you're combing it, you're doing this, this and that. You're really damaging your hair further. So avoid manipulation. Then lastly, you can look for nice oils. Those are olive oil, coconut oil, argan oil, castor oil, nice oils that can actually um, get into the, your hair and uh, save um, some protein and also seal off the moisture that you had obtained through conditioning. So that's it guys. Remember if you want to color your hair, use a temporary rinse out wash. I'll just show you some of the examples in the next um, couple of minutes so that you can be able to, to get them at the store and dye your hair. With something that is safe if you've already done the permanent coloring kindly ensure you feed your hair with a lot of moisture and protein so that it can rebuild its structure so in the next um take i'm going to show you how to uh i'm going to show you which products to use so as to dye your hair and maintain the moisture of your hair So, for those uh, who want to dye their hair, these are the several types of dyes you can go look for. We have the cream of nature. They have really nice dyes, both permanent and semi-permanent. You can also go look for darling. Darling also have um, good, um, not darling, sorry, nice and lovely. Nice and lovely also have good dyes, both natural and semi-permanent. But I would prefer if you go for the temporary wash uh, dyes when you're buying the dye kindly uh, be sure to check on the box that of the product they would have indicated whether it's permanent or a temporary wash so that's it guys i hope you really enjoyed the video i will do um another video on something else that people want to do or something you've really wanted to try on your hair and you're not and you don't have enough information about it kindly leave in the comment section and i will check on it and i will uh, be sure to shoot a video on that so that's it guys, kindly check out my other videos and if you've not subscribed to this channel, kindly do subscribe, hit that subscription button, like, share, comment, yeah, all that. And let's get this channel to 400. I'm really happy we got to 300, but I know we can get to 400 as well. So bye, till next time.